I'm Rhiannon and today I'm here to talk to you about how to choose rugs and mats to add style, personality and comfort to different areas in your home. Before you start thinking of what rug to introduce into your home, come up with a plan. Measure your room and the spaces you want to place the rug. Sketch a floor plan and figure out where you'll put the furniture. Use your plan to visualise a few different places for your rug until you think you've found the right one. Then you'll have a clearer idea about what sizes, styles and colours will suit your room best before you head to the store. The type of rug you choose depends on your floor type, how much space you have and the design of your home. Floorboards look great with thicker rugs which can warm up a space underfoot. Tiled floors work well with mats or thicker rugs. Thick carpet looks great with a thinner covering for contrast as a thick rug might look overbearing. If you have a large space, a big designer rug would look fantastic, but smaller spaces work just as well with smaller rugs. You should be able to feel your rug underfoot when you're on the couch or as you roll out of bed. Whatever type of rug you choose, make sure it doesn't overwhelm the space. You should still be able to see your original carpet, floorboards or tiles around the edges of the room. You can use a rug to separate spaces in a large room or to add a sense of scale to a smaller room. No matter where in your house you're thinking of placing your rug, it helps to know the different types and textures so you can choose one that suits your home. Traditional rugs are woven with classic patterns and designs and look perfect in formal areas. They're generally rectangular in shape and come in a range of sizes to suit your space. Shaggy rugs add comfort, warmth and visual texture to your room. Jute is a durable, natural fibre that looks beautiful as an area rug in casual rooms. Skin or hide rugs are comfortable, durable and plush. And faux sheepskin rugs come in a variety of natural or dyed colours. Choose a shape that suits your space. Cowhide looks stylish in both modern and traditional spaces. Heat set rugs are great for high traffic areas as they're treated to increase their durability, stain resistance and ability to hold colour. The purpose of a rug in your living room is to connect your furniture together to make it feel like a cohesive space. Your rug should be large enough to go under your couch, occasional chairs and media consoles. Look at the colours of your walls. If they're neutral, you can go bold with a patterned rug. If you've got a brighter colour, it's best to choose a neutral shade. Statement floor pieces look great in living rooms and they can showcase your personality nicely. Choose materials that can weather heavy traffic, especially if you have kids or pets at home. Despite you spending most of your time sitting in a dining room, it's also a room where your rug can get a lot of wear and tear. Look for materials that are relatively simple to clean. Wool is durable, while synthetics are often stain resistant. Go for a rug that's the same shape as your dining table. Match circular rugs with circular tables, rectangular rugs with rectangular tables, and so on. The size of your rug should be about 60 centimetres larger than the table and chairs on each side. Shorter pile is best as it's easier to clean and remove crumbs and stains. The material of your table and chairs could also determine what your rug looks like. If your table has a glass top, you can get away with a brighter or patterned rug without overwhelming the space. Create the feeling of your own personal sanctuary with a beautiful rug that looks great, adds comfort and can absorb noise to make your room a quieter place. Lay a rug at the foot of the bed to draw the eye, or place one on either side so you have somewhere nice to place your feet each morning. For your materials, think soft and high pile. Sheepskin or shaggy rugs feel great underfoot. You can go for a large rug in this space, but leave a few centimetres on each side so the edges don't touch the walls. Think about your wardrobe or cupboard doors. You don't want them bumping the rug when you open them, so get a rug that's short enough to avoid the doors. Bathrooms aren't usually the place you'd think of injecting personality and colour, but you can make your bathroom a welcoming place to be with the help of a mat. More than this, a functional bath mat is important to keep your floor non-slip and to absorb excess water. A quick drying bath mat is your best bet, and one designed for bathrooms won't build up moisture as easily, so it won't get damp or mouldy. Invest in a sheet of rubber backing or separate suction cups that you can attach to the bottom of the mat. Look for antibacterial properties that go a long way to preventing damage from moisture. If you've got a small bathroom, a round rug will suit best. 
Hallways are high traffic areas and can look great with a splash of colour in the form of a rug. They're often the first thing people see when they walk in, so they can set the tone for the rest of the house. Jute rugs are durable and stylish in modern homes. Woolen rugs are classic and look great in period homes. Lighter colours make a space look wider. Darker colours are less likely to show wear and tear. Make sure your rug has even spaces around the sides and that you can still see some of the floor. Still wondering what the right rug is for your home? Come in store to see the range in person or head online to spotlightstores.com.